for gathering every uh, every other Friday. Gilbert, they do it every other Tuesdays, so about twice every month. And I encourage everyone of you who believe that you are a follower of Christ, that you are a disciple of Christ. We talk about discipleship last Sunday, that we are all disciples. Preach the gospel, just like what we are doing today. And make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teaching them all that I have taught you. Our teaching is not only limited on Sunday, but every time we would gather together. And he had this promise. And I will be with you always until the end of the age. In other words, if we are doing the purposes of God in our lives, he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. You know, we sometimes you know, we always quote those, those verse, God will not leave me, God will not forsake me. There's a truth in that. But if we are walking in his will. Amen. 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 So while we're at it, you know, before I will dismiss the kids, let's just open up your Bibles in the book of Matthew. Again, Matthew again. Chapter 25. Verses 34 to 36. And if you have, if you open up your Bibles, would you please all stand up with me as we honor the reading of God's words? Because before we would let the kids go, I would like them also to see and hear the word of God before they would go to their classes. Matthew 25, 34 to 36. Then the king will say to those in his right, Come. You who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of this world. And in verse 35, he says, For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was taken, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Father, we thank you for your words today, and we ask your Holy Spirit, these words, this passage will become a ray of a word, a word that is alive in us. Open up our hearts and our mind to receive it from you, we also pray, Lord, for our children who are going to their classes, that they may also hear your words and grow, grow in their faith, so that when they grow up and become adults, they will not be like We trust all these things to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen, Amen.